A couple of y'all asked me for a tutorial on our responsive design exercise. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through uh, the process of doing that. Uh, you can see I'm working in the template that uh, I've been working in in class. Now I've already made the site responsive. So if I go ahead and uh, go down to iPhone size, you can see my image resized, uh, my header resized. I don't have anything involving the nav yet, but we'll do that here in a second with a media query. And then the footer uh, responded to the size of the browser there. So I've already gone through and done those. And we already have, uh, we have a couple of exercises on how to do that already. A couple of tutorials on how to do that already. So first thing I'm going to do uh, to add the Twitter widget is I do need to create some code in the style sheet uh, to define a couple of classes. So I have that code written here for you. So I'm going to create this sidebar class and I'm also going to create this sidebar bottom class. Now remember what this is doing just in of itself right here. We're creating a class called sidebar that when we put content on it, it's going to align to the right because we're telling it to float right. It's going to be 30% of whatever div we put it in. I'm going to put that in the section div. So it's going to be 30% of that section div. Uh, right now I'm telling the, t the height to be auto. That's fine. I've got a white uh, border around it. That's very, very small. And then I'm giving it some padding to the left and the right so that the content doesn't go completely up next to it. And also so that the uh, it doesn't butt up against the edge of the section div. Now I'm also creating this sidebar bottom class, but I'm telling it I don't want this to display right now. So we're going to start using that once we get the media queries in. So the first thing I can do is just copy that part. And I'm gonna go down here underneath the footer. And now I've created those two divs, so or those two classes. So you'll see if I refresh, nothing happened because I haven't added anything yet to my content. So now let me log into Twitter really quickly. And I should have done this before, I apologize. Dance break while I go ahead and sign into Twitter. Okay, so now I'm in Twitter and I go right here to settings and I go to widgets and I've already created this one, but again, if you just wanted to create it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit, which will be essentially the same thing. Uh, the only thing that I've really changed is I changed the height to 530 because I've already played around with this and noticed that 600, which is the standard height for a Twitter widget is too large. Um, so I find that 530 for me, for my site was the perfect height. Uh, but again, your mileage may vary. You have these options here of going light or dark. I'd much prefer the light. And then I went ahead and made the uh, the custom link colors to the maroon color that matches uh, Texas State. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this code, which is essentially an embed code, uh, that I can now go into my index, and now we can insert uh, this into our section div. So I went and found the section div right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a div inside a div. And remember, it's a class. And I called it, what did we call it? Uh, sidebar. Sidebar. And then I can just close that div. And then I'm gonna copy and paste all of that code in it right now. So then if I hit refresh on my site, now you can see I have this sidebar div that's 30% of my section div and it should be responsive. So you can see it's responding with the site as well. Now the sidebar bottom isn't popping up because we haven't done anything with it yet. But let's just take a look at where I put that again. It goes right underneath your section div. Okay, so there's my section div right there. First thing you'll see is that and then you'll have your responsive image. Okay, so here's where that code went. I put a div inside a div, just like we did right here. We created a class called sidebar, and it's inside the ID of section. Okay, so all that means is it's within this right here. All right, so that should make sense. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing for sidebar bottom. And where I put that, I've gone down here and I found the space in between my section div so this div opens right here and it closes right here. So in between that div and the footer, I'm gonna go ahead and put in that second one, which is 
sidebar bottom. Uh, same code from Twitter. So that's all I need to do. You just copy and paste that in and then I'm going to close that. So when I hit refresh, nothing's really going to happen because again, remember that we're telling that sidebar bottom to not pop up right now. We have it at display none. So if I now go in and add the final part of this, which is the media query portion of it. So here I'm saying once it gets to 600 pixels wide or smaller, I want the sidebar to go away. That's the one we just put in or the one that's showing up on our site right now. And then at that point, I want the sidebar bottom to kick in and it's going to go in at the bottom and it's going to be 100%. The margins left and right mean it's going to be centered. Same thing with the section. Um, and then I've also added in some stuff for the navigation here. So the main thing that I've done is I've changed the font size to 80%. And then I also kicked the footer away. So all of this is going to happen once we get to 600 pixels or fewer. So now let me go in here and I'll just add this in right underneath there. So again, if I go ahead and refresh, nothing's going to happen because we're not yet at 600 pixels. But once we get down to that 600 pixels, one, you'll notice that my fonts, the font became smaller. And then two, you now see the, uh, let's go all the way down to the iPhone size. You now see that uh, we have the sidebar bottom now popping up. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll notice there's no more footer down here either. So that's it. It's really simple. Um, some of y'all are having some problems with it. I'm guessing it's because you have either um, changed some of these settings or uh, they're not completely compatible with your site. So you might need to go through here and change some of these. You should understand the logic of what we just did because just went through and explained that. Or it's that you put it in the wrong place. So again, you have your, di your section div right here. First thing inside the section div will be that sidebar class div. You go ahead and close it before your image, if you have an image or before anything else, just put it first thing in the section div. And then after your section div closes, you now open up, uh, or between the, uh, here's where the section div ends. So in between that and where the footer div opens is where you put the sidebar bottom and uh, should be good to go from that. So some of you might still be having some problems uh, getting your site fully responsive, which that might be contributing to some of the sidebar problems, but continue to play around with the CSS. That's how you solve these problems when it comes to troubleshooting regarding making your site responsive.